Hi everyone, Mark Skeen here from The Big Picture. So today we're starting to get into some of the power of Solstice. And this week we're showing you how to get a truly immersive collaboration set up by creating a collaborative wall, for want of a better term. Uh, if you remember in the first introduction video, the guys who create this product showed us a huge collaborative wall that had multiple projectors on it, uh, all showing one image. And if you're anything like me, you might have went, wow, I wonder how they did that. Okay, well it's not that hard. So today we're going to show you how, okay? Um, but let's imagine one of my screens here, well each one of my screens here is a, is a projector, right? What I have here is one PC driving all three screens, but the PC has a good quality graphics card in it. The one in this is an NVIDIA GTX 660, so it has three outputs. I'll try not to lose any of the less techie people here and I'll keep this quick. So for the techies, you'll know you can't really open an application across all three screens. Uh, if you run it in extended desktop, unless you sort of stretch it uh, and it's out of proportion. So, and with Solstice, you can't even stretch it. So what you have to do is go into the settings of your graphics card and on the NVIDIA cards, there's a surround setting, which the game is used. Uh, and if you turn that on and set up your screens, you can stretch it no problems. It only takes just a second. So in the other card of NVIDIA, it's called Mosaic. But basically what we're after here is a graphic card that supports single logic screen mode. Okay, there's a fair few out there. And this will work. So let's get to it. I'll just change my settings on my graphics card. I'll show you how easy that is. So I'm going to my, just my desktop. I'm just going to right click and go to my graphics card. Bring that over here so you can see. In 3D settings, configure surround. Span displays with surround. So I'm just going to click on that and press apply. And apply again. Right, and it'll go and do its thing. Okay, and I'm then, while that's doing that, uh, I'll just wake my uh, devices up. Okay, and you can set these screens up for the gaps and things like that if you need to, but on a projector that wouldn't need to be an issue or wouldn't need to happen. So let's launch Solstice. And as you can see here, we're now spanning across all three screens. So that's really cool. So uh, we're just gonna connect. on. I'm just connecting iPhones and iPads at the moment. Obviously, as I showed you last week, you can connect your desktop or PC uh, and screen share and do all that sort of fun stuff as well. Uh, but let's, let's just connect. So we open the Solstice client. The Solstice client is free from the App Store. Press the big purple button, okay, and it goes looking for what devices are there as Solstice display, all right. As you can see here, Mark's iPhone is connected. This phone hasn't actually been named, so it'll come up as guest. We'll open the Solstice client, okay, we'll go home PC, connect, and there it is, guest is up there, and this one's just about flat in my good old cracked ice, iPad 1, alright, and we'll just go into here and connect, alright, so we've now got three people connected, two guests and my Mark's iPhone, the blue one, okay. So I'm just going to share what's on this here. Oops, sorry, I've disconnected, pressed the wrong button. Uh, so I'm connected. I can share. So I've just gone to a web page on my iPad. And I'll share this one here too on the iPhone. So here we bring up stuff. And uh, let's bring up an image from my iPhone. Okay. So you can see we're getting to the power. And, and what we'll do is just, uh, I'll just grab my... Uh, let's just use, well, while well, it's doing this, hang on. We will just bring up some of the uh, layouts we can use. All right, so I'm going to press on that little food image and I can move that around. So I've got full control over where things are going. Okay, I can set, pull up the other image from the other iPhone and I can move that around. All right, we'll move that over to the right and I can bring up the iPad image. Okay, and I can move that here. So you can see we can uh, highlight different things with people working together collaborative, collaboratively. And you can see the power of that there. You can also have different layouts like we talked last week, okay? Uh, and you can move across just by pressing across like that. All right. Um, you could do some things like this. Bring one to the front. Uh, you know, one, two, three, four. I like the full flexible uh, option because you can just move things where you want. Or, or, the, uh, or the other one that's really good is that, so you can just move through the slides or through the images, okay? 
So we'll just bring that to free form, and away we go. All right. Uh, so as you can see here, we've got a huge amount of real estate, and if this was three projectors uh, at a 100 inch screen, you'd be looking at 300 inches, or about 7.5 meters of wall space. And you could do this, uh, then you can bring up as many connections and collaborate with, uh, without any issues of sizing. Okay, so, so you might say, well, this is all well and good, but how much does that cost? And uh, you might look at it and think, well, that'd cost in excess of 20 to 30K. And in the old functionality or the old AB setups, you'd be right and in, in excess. So I'm gonna do, use, do a rough calculation using Solstice. And let's say you used Epson Ultra Short Throw Projectors, 3000 ANSI lumens, so it's nice and bright. And we project onto a whiteboard that's already in the room. So 1500 bucks each for your projector, bracketing and mounting for your projectors, cabling back to your PC, a good graphics card and a PC, Solstice display license, installation, 12RU rack. Round figures, that simple setup would cost you somewhere between 12 to 13K for a very basic setup. Okay, twelve to thirteen thousand dollars. So it's not a, uh, it's not an every room solution, but you can put in a boardroom or a flexible learning space, and it can be booked for use. And if you're in a flipped classroom environment, then here is your perfect opportunity for a collaborative revision. Okay. So while we're on rooms, next week we're going to lay out a few room designs and show you a few ideas. You may have some of your own, uh, and I'd certainly love to hear them. That's for sure. Uh, but we'll just show you a couple of things or a couple that we want to share with you and. Uh, might be able to pull some ideas of how you can use the power of Solstice in your learning spaces. Okay? Please, if you like this, share it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or the other social media sites, uh, and drop us some feedback. I'd love to, hear, uh, love to hear from you and love to hear what you think of these videos. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.